Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while, but today we're going to be taking a look at Dual RX 480s, up against a 1070, uh, and also we're throwing a 1080 into those tests. Uh, why we're doing a comparison against two RX 480s against one 1070 is because two RX 480s cost the same price as a 1070, uh, and for a comparison, it would actually be three RX 480s to the price of one 1080. Um, all three cards. Uh, all three variations here have 8GB of VRAM, uh, which is plenty enough for, for, for a 6K red uh, files. So we're going to look at you know Premiere Photoshop, see if Photoshop uses that second card. Um, obviously DaVinci Resolve, the candlelight benchmarks, exporting, um, some transcoding and encoding, our usual sort of stuff. Now jumping straight into some of the benchmarks, uh, here we ran a DaVinci Resolve Great Effects export, 2 minute red 4K file, exported to H.264 1080p, and the Dual RX 480's done it in 27 seconds, whilst the 1070 done it in 33 seconds, and the 1080 in 30 seconds. Uh, Premiere Pro, uh, great effects and export to 2 minute ProRes 4K file to H.264 1080p. We had the dual RX 480s do it at 3 minutes and 30 seconds along with the 1080 and then the 1070 here at 3 minutes and 30, uh, three minutes and 45 seconds. So back to DaVinci Resolve, great effects export, 15 minutes worth of red K6 K footage. Um, and what we did was export it to UHD DNX HR HQ. <coughs> Uh, here we had the dual RX 480s do it in 12 minutes and 2 seconds, whilst the 1070 done it in 14 minutes and 2 seconds, and the 1080 here in 9 minutes and 28 seconds. Off to Photoshop to see if it utilized the dual cards, uh, and it didn't. The dual RX 480s are identical to the single RX 480 here at 59 seconds and 60 milliseconds, uh, the 1070 at 55 seconds and 13 milliseconds, and the 1080 at 50 seconds and 5 milliseconds. Okay, now we wanted to see what our playback was like in DaVinci Resolve. So we took our 4K timeline ProRes LT 4K, all three system setups got 25 frames per second. Um, now off to some debater in Red 6K. So 4K timeline, Red Dragon 6K, half res, good quality, uh, all three systems got 25 frames per second. Okay, now up in the ante here, 4K timeline, Red 6K, half res and premium. Uh, all three systems 16 frames per second and again at full res and premium all three at 16 frames per second um, here to achieve a full playback in premiere pro on a 4k timeline with that red dragon 6k uh, to get the full 25 frames needed i had to have the dual rx 480s and the 1070 at quarter quality whilst the 1080 we only had to have at half quality okay now on to the davinci resolve candlelight it's a 1080p timeline test uh, playback all three systems got 25 frames obviously uh, now moving down all the way from 10 to 20 all three systems were able to achieve that 25 frames uh, now as we jumped into the 40 blue nodes we saw the 1070 here at 19 frames whilst the dual rx 480 and the 1080 at 25 frames and then off to 60 blue nodes here we had the dual rx 480s take the lead with 21 frames the 1080 at 17 frames and the 1070 at 12 frames now on to one of the most demanding things, um, two TNR nodes, uh, both the 1080 and the Dual RX 480s got 25 frames per second and the 1070 lagging at 22. Uh, four TNR nodes, we had the 1080 at 18 frames, the, RX for, the Dual RX 480s at 20 frames, the 1070 at 13 frames. Um, and then on to the six TNR nodes, the Dual RX 480s at 15 frames per second, the 1080 at 13 frames per second, and then the 1070 at nine frames per second. So basically this is following the candlelight test. There's 200 possible frames in that test to get. And we took those 200 frames and we turned them into a percentage. And then we divided the price over the percentage. Here we had the RX 480s at $8.60 a frame. Uh, the 1080 costing you $13.30 per frame. <clears throat> the GDX 1070 costing you $10.10 a frame and a single RX 480 costing you $6 a frame. Uh, these are all in Australian dollars, but it gives you a, a good idea of uh, price to performance and where they sit. Okay, so whilst the 1070 didn't win in many tests, uh, the Dual RX 480s prove that they do offer a better uh, ratio for performance to dollar as we just saw. Uh, so I feel if your system can take dual cards, I guess the Dual RX 480s are the way to go. Uh, once again, single card, I guess, you know, um, I, I would 
it's hard to say, but uh, if you're in a budget, I definitely go for the RX 480. But um, if you're not in a budget, definitely the 1080. Whilst it doesn't offer the best price to performance uh, to dollar, uh, I guess uh, those longer exports do benefit from a card like the 1080. But um, I hope you liked it so far. Uh, we will be coming up with some new videos soon, especially testing some new 8K footage from the new uh, Helium 8K sensors. Um, so if you liked, subscribe, like, comment, Either way, we'll be happy. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching.